and welcome to my freak show. Allow me to break down the preview for American Horror Story Delicate, Episode 8, titled Little Gold Man, as well as my predictions. Now, a special shout out to new patron Lady Di. Thank you so much for your support. The trailer begins with Anna and Siobhan. They're sitting in seats at an award ceremony. Anna is wearing this beautiful white frilly gown that we see repeatedly throughout this preview. And Siobhan is wearing this beautiful black sleek dress with this gold necklace kind of intertwined like a snake. Siobhan says, Do you want this? Which Anna replies, Yes. The next scene is Anna with a white wrap around the front of her or her shirt is backwards. I'm not sure. There looks like there's got to be some kind of white sweater underneath because she's wearing one when Cora confronts her in just a minute. Anyway, it appears that Anna is at some kind of a celebration at a restaurant and sees a woman dressed in a black cape across the room. Now, looking closer, you see the woman in the black cape is Cora. And I predict that this is a funeral wake for Virginia. However, Anna is dressed in white and people don't normally wear white to funerals. So this could be some kind of a celebration, maybe thrown by Siobhan as sort of a pre Oscars party, possibly even a baby shower. Siobhan says, what would you give up for it? As images of Anna in bed and Cora dressed in a black cape flash across the screen. This is probably when Cora confronts Anna about having an affair with Dex and overhearing something nefarious at the Riverside Clinic about Anna and the baby. And I predict that Dex and Cora were banging and he planned on leaving his marriage with Anna after the last IVF round failed. However, the IVF worked, so Dex stopped seeing Cora, probably around episode six. And I speculate that this is when Cora heard Dr. Hill say something about Anna and the baby at the clinic. So she decided to come clean about everything. This is why Anna will probably call her a monster as we heard in the part two trailer. Anna replies, anything. Notice this audience member looking straight at the two, clapping as he stands up. It reminds me of the Overlook rejoicing as Jack Torrance broke his sobriety. And we get the infamous scene where Anna and Siobhan kiss at the ceremony. Notice Siobhan and Anna's hands, they're over on Anna's stomach. And we see a flash of Siobhan walking through a nice room. It's not Anna's. And it cuts to Anna staring at her baby bump in the mirror. She appears to be in a bathroom that hasn't appeared in any episode so far. So I assume that it's Siobhan that's taking care of Anna and Dex in her home now that with Virginia passing away. And the lack of logos on the towels and the toiletries on the counter, it makes me think that this is Siobhan's house and not just some kind of hotel. Anna and Dex's condo and Talia's Hampton home and Dex's dad's home, they all had chrome hardware in their bathrooms, not brass. So Anna is bathing somewhere that we have never seen before, though I guess it could be Dex's father's home, seeing as that I'm sure we've never seen all of the bathrooms in there. But again, that's just my speculation. Cora says, They're doing something to your baby. As the scene cuts back to Cora talking to Anna, we see both of them in the same restaurant or the same place as before. The next scene is Anna in her bed with her legs starting to twist like the summer day doll that Nicolette found in episode six. And oh my gosh, that looks so painful. Anna says, Something's happening to me. As we see someone, I speculate that it's Ivy, ripping a piece of paper apart. Miss Preacher screams, I beg you! as she's dragged out of a church. Now, there is a shot of Anna and Dex both turning to look at Miss Preacher as she's dragged away. You can see Dex at the podium and Anna sitting on the pew, and that looks like that is Virginia's funeral. The next scene is Cora kissing Anna's forehead while she's wearing a hospital gown. And this is possibly a flashback when Cora talks to Anna in that restaurant, confessing her sins, Cora probably kissed Anna's forehead before her latest implantation surgery. We suddenly flash to Anna literally down on the red carpet. She's looking around with confusion and holding her stomach as the cameras take pictures. 
Now, possibly the sight of Babette very soon that we see in this preview shocks Anna to the ground. The next image is the scene from the part two trailer where Anna is alone at the microphone in a theater with Babette clapping from the nosebleed section. A smiling Anna is on the red carpet and she turns to see Babette, whose head has been sewn back on, and Babette says to Anna, Congratulations, Anna. So I assume that Anna will maybe like fall after she sees Babette and that's why Anna will be on the red carpet. Now the final scene is Anna and Siobhan in a limousine. Anna is wearing the same beautiful white uh, gown as in the beginning of the preview and throughout the rest of it. And Siobhan is of course slaying in that black dress. Anna says, You'd never lie to me, would you? As Siobhan looks away and kind of laughs. Oh, I think this episode is going to start with Virginia's funeral. Anna will probably remember her conversation with Miss Preacher in a flashback during the funeral. Of course, Miss Preacher will be there, cause a commotion, and be escorted out. This will either be Virginia's wake or a pre-Oscar party next where Cora will spill the beans to Anna. And then lastly, Anna's, of course, getting ready for the Oscars, where Siobhan will take advantage of Anna's desperation and Anna will sell her soul, her baby soul, or what have you to Siobhan. And Anna will go into labor, sending us into episode nine. Now, what are your predictions for episode eight, guys? Let me know in the comments because you know how much I love reading them. Weekly Wednesday live streams are every single Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Beyond the Horror is my unofficial American Horror Story after show, and they are Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more great content. And of course, if you want to support the channel further, please consider becoming a channel member or a Patreon. You get a ton of rewards for just a dollar, even the free members. Links are in the description. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I appreciate it, and beware of sexy scathage. Of sexy scaffish.